both. <laughs> Morning. Who wants to explain the concept? Go on, Simon. Well, Let's I mean, you, you did it a bit there. It's about yeah. an actor who used to be on this TV show in the 80s called Mindhorn, which was sort of a cross between Bergerac yeah. and yeah. the Six Million Dollar Man. It's like a bionic Bergerac. Oh, well, you've got a, you've got a shot of it somewhere. Yeah, but yeah he's sort of wears there he, patch there he is. Yes, he is behind us. Yeah. Um, and the film sort of starts 25 years later, and the, the police on the Isle of Man, which is where Mindhorn was set, get a phone call from. Uh, a murder suspect who says, I'll hand myself in, but I'll, I'll only speak to Detective Mindhorn. Yeah. Which it's, is like, it's a bit um, like if, uh, if, the, if they found the police on, the, uh, on Jersey and said, I'll only speak to Bergerac, would they yeah. get the actor John Nettles to, to take get, the call? Yeah. And, and the answer to that is, what, what's, what a police officer had told you, that that may, may actually, if that, that happens, That is true. I, I, I know uh, a chief of police, I won't say his name, in case yep. he gets fired. <laughs> but uh, he said that if that happened, you know, they would, they would ask the actor. If they had no other leads, which is what we do in the film, they can't find this guy. And that's their only lead. So say if they get him, he might want to play a game of cat and mouse. He might hand himself in. So but it's, in, it's, in all, our, it's all accurately researched. Yeah. Yes. You know. But what Richard does is he sees this. He's a washed up. And so he sees played by me. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I play, play the washed up, so it's slightly <laughs> over the hill, kind of broken down. It's a big stretch for you. Isn't it, it is a stretch, but I, I put on a lot of weight for the part and yeah. sort of aged up a bit. This isn't real me. This is aging. You can <laughs> lose, <laughs> you can lose the weight now. If, well, if we like. may have to do reshoots, so I'm keeping it on. Just <laughs> it, is, it is finished. It is out next Friday, so you, you, well, you, you, can, know, you know, can go back could, to the gym. We, we might, and you, and you play his rival slash body double as well. so so in that clip, so when the actor the actor sees this as a. Uh, way of getting publicity, you know, for his yes. career and get back in the newspapers. But when he goes back to the island, he finds that everything's changed. Like he left a fiance there who is now with his stuntman, who I play in that clip. And so mm. he finds that. Uh, you sort of don't have many clothes. There's quite a lot of uh, sections of the film where you're just in sort of small jeans and yeah, your body a lot of revealed tight and stuff. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, actually, it's, 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 you actually love rivals. Looking back, w w were you inspired by sort of watching these kind of series? You mentioned Bergerac, you mentioned. Yeah. Six Million Dollar Man, Six, yeah. uh, Shoestring, uh, Quincy, yeah. all the shows, the detective shows of the day. Simon, you were more of a Bergerac man. I was a huge Bergerac. I was sort of maybe eight or nine, and I just thought it was the best thing ever. You know, it was so exotic. Kind of, there was yachts everywhere, and it was yes. all the sort of businessmen and golf and tennis players, and mm. I thought it was great. When you look back <laughs> at it and doing research, it's a slightly creaky, and you sort of go, you know, and you, they do stunts, and they sort of miss by about, about three Ten. feet. And, <laughs> You sort of couldn't really get away with it now, but um, yeah, we sort of... It came from a place of love. I mean, it's a nostalgic yeah, love yeah, yeah, yeah. we have for it's those shows. Um, um, but yeah, we focused on the actor himself and where he is now. Mm. So we thought that would be... So having gone through this process, I, I, I'd like to say you, you clearly enjoyed it. Would you work together again on something no. else? No. no Never, right. no. Uh, Unless the film does well and then we'd love to... Then we'd be it. delighted <laughs> to. <laughs> uh, no, this could be the last thing. Uh, yeah, let's hope so. This, just let's being on this sofa is... This is, this is it. You said... You said... You said if it goes well, you might even do a TV series. Is that, oh, is that if like it goes well, we'll be doing everything we possibly can. Michael, yeah. dude. Yeah, <laughs> they've talked about it. doing a TV series of the, the show itself. The show itself. Right, OK. But, um, um, we don't know about that. Because yeah. if, if you can see the truth, then the plot's sort of over in about two minutes, which yeah. is a slight... Yeah. Uh, you have to find ways of damaging his, his eye. But uh, anyway, mm. <laughs> yes. I like the idea of a, a detective with a robotic eye. Yeah. Yeah. So do I. There's, a t there's a definitely a TV series in that. Well, we, we initially, well, the first idea was that he had a sort of robotic nose. He could smell the truth. <laughs> he could smell the truth, and we, but then we thought that's even that's a bit of a stretch. You yeah. know, the show like that perhaps wouldn't get made. So, I also I look better in an eye patch than a false nose. Um, what I sort of love about it as well, because I was a big fan of um, of things like Starsky and Hutch. Yes. And it's yeah. So, me and too. Yeah, I mean, you know, massive. I remember the first time I was ever allowed to stay up and watch that was a big well, moment yeah, in my life. Great. You probably don't remember that, Dan. But um, anyway, <laughs> no um, idea what it's, you're it's sort about. of, it, as you say, it's a really nostalgic kind of take on some of those things, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I love those shows too. I grew up on those. Starsky yeah. and Hutch, yeah. Sunday night, great. And yeah. also looking at the sort of non PCness in a in a comedic way. He's not he's not a very evolved person, is Richard? No, no. no he's, he's, on, on, on he's got a long lot of things to learn and. He's pretty, yeah. pretty out of touch with the modern world, yeah. and uh, you know. All it's that sort, sort of, of this stuff. irony that he's got this eye in, in you know, his fictional detective. He can see the truth, but as an actor, he can't see any truth about yes. anything. Yeah. Yeah. But he, yeah. Well, it is really and genuinely, it's really, really funny. Oh, thank you for coming on, and thank you for remaining fully dressed as well. Uh, well, it's nice to, and cool I in I the had studio. To so. To put something <laughs> on. He was 
He was just down to his shorts before he came right, on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you just put something on, Simon? Thanks for oh, saving us. Thank you, uh, But yeah, it's out, out on Friday, 5th of May. Thank you. Have you got that coming? Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, okay. oh, well done. Thank you very much indeed. It's called Mindhorn. That's it from us this morning, Charlie.